Do y'all ever look back at some of y'all interviews and and just see, or some of this shit is kind of eerie to me, like it's prophetic. Like in, man, that interview y'all had with Doug is just, man, there's so many parts that people highlight, people like, damn, this conversation is, it's with, crazy. With Doug, it really hurt because, you know, Thug is one of the most solid. For, for, how did I even get set up? Because I've I've never seen him like that on any interview. Thug called us. Yeah. Because 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 Thug Thug always talks shit to Gil about what was that game? Man, Man yeah. He's like nigga. As soon as I'm done, we got an interview, nigga. I don't. I mean, because I think you beat him. Yeah, beat, beat him down. Yeah. And then we always was cool. So he had us up first time. Then it was, when the second album come, he's like, come back down here, man. Let's do another one. And we just go in the studio and like. And then we 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 always think of different and creative ways that. So the first one we went down and we interviewed him. So when he was like, "Come down again," we was like, "All right, what's a different way we could do it?" Can you add a whole click there? Because mm -hmm. the album, because because this what happened is when we went the first time, he had a board there with all these songs. They told him, "I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna fuck him up. That's coming out with the album of the, of the crew." I'm like, man, you, man, put that shit out, you bullshit. Like, I'm telling you, watch, watch, no cap, I'm coming. And then he called us, like I told you, come on back down here. We went down there, and uh, we just, was, it just was a crazy joint because everybody was in there, and it was just, it was just, you know, it was just a crazy good environment, great and, energy. And, and you gotta understand, we did an interview, but we was there probably for like six hours outside of the interview, just talking about life. Doug talked about a lot of shit. Uh, Doug helped a lot of people too. How did y'all get him that comfortable? We just, he, he, because he fucked with us. Like, yeah. like one thing about this, when you come in a million dollars worth of game, it ain't no landmines. These niggas ain't asking me no dumb shit. He ain't coming at me about no dumb shit. So you just, and we already talk all the time on the phone and shit, laughing and shit, joke. Yo, man, he'll say some shit, you know what I mean, about whatever. But it's like, people enjoy fucking with us because we ain't not asking you no dumb shit. We don't care about no dumb shit, bro. And what you see is what you get. So it's not like I see Gilly and then he's somebody else. I see Wallow and then he's somebody else. No, we come right in there having fun. We busting on niggas. We playing around. We, cause that's what we do, man. There's an you see, well, from the time you got out the car, of we've been saying all kinds of shit. That of dick course. don't work. His no, dick went out on him. We've we hey, been saying hey, all hey, kinds of shit. Hey, no, no. Yeah, but, by the way, I need the dick doctor. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. Yeah, he nah, nah. nah. We gonna talk, we gonna talk about it, the bullshit. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, yo, what I got from that conversation is like, yo, throw respect to y'all. Let me tell you this. I sit with a lot of artists, and even when I ask certain questions. I won't say, like, they talk to me like I'm an interviewer, but it's rare I interview someone who talks to me like they respect me, like in the sense of I'm telling you this as like an OG, like everything he was telling y'all, like he was relating it to y'all like, yo, I have, I have the utmost respect for where y'all come from, for y'all background. And I know y'all identify with how I'm speaking to y'all. Yeah. That's rare that you get somebody. No, like but, that. but see the difference is though though act and the rappers look at you like a college kid who set up a a, a, a situation. He blew his situation up. He got a hell of a platform. And, it rep, and it's big in the culture. I agree. I agree. Feel what I'm saying? So when we go to academics, we know what we get. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be it's, it's, it's going to be a little rocky in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I got to be on my P's and Q's. You feel what I'm saying? Because he could be asking me about my album in one breath, and then in the second breath, he could be asking me about me going upside my bitch head outside the restaurant. So you feel what I'm saying? So they already know this is a slippery slope when we go in here. Yeah. With us, they like, they respect us on some street shit. Meek's interview with y'all was just like the same. Like, First, like he was talking to Tony, I like, y'all was just. But Meek, is, homie, I homies. knew Meek since he was like 18 yeah, he's, years he's, old. He's family. You got it, you understand? So it's different. I'm, I'm Meek old head for real. So it's a little different. Like, 
you you know what I'm saying? Like we really know each other. I really seen you when you didn't have nothing to the day you came in the motherfucking studio we had to you cut your braids and you had to brush a hey, three minutes trying to get your <laughs> waves right to the to the seeing you get five thousand a show and then like three months later that shit jumping up to fifteen thousand. Like I knew you from then, so it's a little different. You feel what I'm saying? Uh so with us, they respect us from a street standpoint. Then on top of that, it's like when we go to them, they don't ask no dumb shit. We they might bust on us, they might say some dumb shit, they might we might bust on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you peanut head ass niggas, man. It, it's all fun and I'm games. Roasted, we just here to make you think, laugh, and cry if it come to that. If it come and we talking to an artist that we really fuck with because the bottom line is we only get motherfuckers that we want. A label can't call us and say, uh, we got Johnny Donut. Can I we probably get that a lot, don't you? What? We got Johnny Donut and Delaware Donnie and Jersey Joe. and, and How much and, of those that turn now? Oh, all of them. Because we like to look at ourselves as this, bro. Everybody's doing their thing. But we always got to separate ourselves in some way. We're the boutique of podcasts. Mm. We don't want everybody. Oh, Sherry is a three-time author with a book. We don't give a fuck about that shit. Tell her to take that shit somewhere else. Congratulations, Sherry. Send me your link so I can purchase one of your motherfucking books. You're not coming on here, though. And we, we, we directed our shit towards the youth. The niggas that's going on tomorrow. Because we know the next little Dirk is sitting back like, I'm going to get on that motherfucking couch. The next the baby is sitting back. The next little baby. The next J. Cole. The next Drake. The next LeBron James. They like, I'm going to get on that fucking couch. And you know what? You is, nigga. Just keep putting that work in, and we coming for you.